plastic continues swirling in the Pacific Ocean, Planet 100 offers up everything you want to know about the Pacific Trash Vortex. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, I'm Sarah Backhouse. On today's special episode, the who, what, when, why, where and how of the Pacific Trash Vortex. What exactly is the Pacific Trash Vortex? It's a huge soup of trash twice the size of Texas that has a dubious honor of being the biggest landfill on the planet. 90% of this trash is plastic, 80% which originates on land and the other 20% comes from seafaring vessels and uh, <clears throat> oil platforms. The name Pacific Trash Vortex might give you a hint that it's in the Pacific. But did you know it's actually comprised of two separate vortexes? The eastern garbage patch floats between Hawaii and California, while the western garbage patch forms east of Japan and west of Hawaii. The two are connected by a super long current called the subtropical convergence zone. So who's responsible for this mess? Well, humans, especially those in the developed world, who are consuming, discarding and replacing at an ever-accelerating rate. The US has 5% of the world's population but consumes 30% of the world's resources and creates 30% of the world's waste. No one knows exactly when the Pacific trash vortex began to form, but we do know that plastic has been around for the past 144 years. And apart from a very small amount which has been incinerated, every piece of plastic ever made still exists. Given we're churning out about 60 billion tons of plastic annually, much of it disposable, it's no wonder monsters like the Pacific Trash Vortex have been created. Why do we care about the Pacific Trash Vortex? Because it's killing millions of birds and animals every year who consume or get tangled in plastic debris. So how do we stop it? Well, each of us tosses about 185 pounds of plastics each year. Much of it, like PVC rubber duckies, toxic. We need to start by stopping. Do we need all those plastic toys and plastic bottles? Can we say no to plastic bags and bring our own canvas grocery bags? Can we commit to recycling? By reducing, reusing and recycling, we could reduce our waste stream by 50% or more, a major step in fighting the Pacific trash vortex. Any more ideas? Let us know by leaving a comment at our YouTube page. And we'll see you tomorrow for more Planet 100.